this. I guess the teacher is not. And you went and complained to HR and said, I feel uncomfortable. There would be a, a paper trail now. It would be 1000 percent. And if you were fired three days later after saying you feel no uncomfortable, good. you have a potential lawsuit or they're like, sign this paper. You're getting two weeks severance. And you're like, I'm getting seven months severance, bitch. Thanks. Yeah. So at 750,000 a year, approximately, Margaret's probably walking away with like, you know, uh, there's yeah, there so could be a payout. Thing is, She's very he, smart. He did warn her. He did warn her on the stage. He did warn her. So, and Joe or whoever it was, was like, are you threatening her? You know, so he did do some things on that stage that she can use. It's, we watched it, you know? So it's some, listen, there, this is some crazy stuff. This is some crazy stuff. So, but do you understand because this is crazy stuff, that's probably why she is going to lose her job and possibly others. Listen, and let me. So Louis allowed. So Louis allowed to threaten people. He's allowed to threaten, and Margaret loses her job. It's one thing to have him investigated because me and you would do the same thing. We'll investigate the shit out of all of you if you want to investigate me. But to threaten people on the stage is a different story, David. So he's allowed to threaten because he's married to Teresa, but they they can't be in fear. I don't know. I don't like that. That's not cool on Bravo's part. So let's, this is, listen, they're in a tough bind. Bravo's in a tough situation. I agree with you. Listen, I am not, I, I completely agree with you. Do I yeah. think Bravo is thrilled with no. Mr. Rielas sitting no. on the stage? I do not. No. Do I think if Mr. Rellis was married to the first season, Miss Fuda, if or Miss Cabral, Gone. or even Dolores, or even anybody else, anybody else, I do think that they would probably let Margaret and Mr. Rellis and his wife go. Go. Unfortunately, like you said, we have a situation here yep. where they are in a pickle because he is married to Teresia. And exactly. she is not going to be fired. <laughs> Guys, I, I I just, what more do you want from me? I cannot, I don't care if you believe me. It's just not going to happen. It's just not. You so anyway, this, Kim D. Know, let, let me not, tell you and, something. So we, you, we, to your point, we have a problem that we have, we a, have a problem who happens to be married to the star of the show. They're not the going to let her go. So let me talk about the star for one minute. I listened okay. to a podcast. Oh, God. And today's stuff, as you call her, he was yes. talking about Father's Day. On fa her father-in-law, who is, he said he's an ex-alcoholic, he still goes to um, Alcoholics Anonymous. So she said that he's very religious now. And he has Teresa and Louie. I'm a Catholic girl, so I get it going to church on Sunday morning. So they go at 11, but because the father-in-law had to go to Alcoholic Anonymous at six, he goes to the meetings. They went to a 9.30 mass. She went to see her father at the um, uh, cemetery and she came home and cooked sauce. She cooks her Sunday sauce. And then the father left to go to Alcoholics Anonymous. And she said... She's very inspired by the father. He said, when someone is mean to you, if someone some, does something very bad to you, if someone's coming for you, he wants Teresa to pray for them. So Teresa said on this podcast that she prays for them now. So I believe the father, I don't know about, you know, Louis, whatever, has there? This is some good influence on Teresa, okay? Because she said at one point in her life, she was mad at God. You took my parents away. You know what I mean? She had anger inside her. And the father has talked to her and um, the mother comes over too and they have Sunday dinners. I think that this family has stepped in um, emotionally and mentally to help her. She went through a lot. And now the church every Sunday... I like it. I, I like it for Teresa. I like it for Teresa. So that's I mean, a good note. 
Do you hear? Do you hear how quiet I am? I mean, like I know. Wow. I mean, yeah. Just, you've you've blown me. First of all, I do not. I listen to Behind the Velvet Rope. I do not listen to other podcasts. No, I didn't. It, um, it comes up on my feed, so I, I heard love that part. Kempire. I love Carlos King. Don't, yeah. Can't think of any others that I love. Yep. Yep. Um. Wow. So yeah. I mean, listen. First of all, Teresia is loving her new life. She's loving, loving it, but she's really feeling a family she's yes. really she's a happy That's what I'm getting person at. she's, she's yes. loved and i mean this marriage honey is i mean those fake reports we addressed this last week anyone thinking that there's i mean if this marriage is fine they are two peas in a pod yes not very much her. alike very much alike she and, is not um, leaving him it's like and she feels uh, look, I mean, to be have lose both your parents, you do feel alone Terrible. in the world. She truly, they've good for them for for adopting good for them. her. She and, also said, "Yep, she said that the older brother went and picked up the younger brother and brought him to the house. The whole family was there for Father's Day. I mean, listen, this is what Teresa Teresa loves this. She loves, loves this, and you know what? Listen to me." I'm not a hater. Some people might think I do not hate anyone. Okay. I'm happy she had that Sunday. I'm happy she had that Father's Day where, where she can be with this man who's talking to her about spirituality, who's lived, who lived some really rough times, some dark times when you're an alcoholic and he's recovered. And he still goes to the meetings like, good for him. God bless. And thank you for taking care of a girl who needs your help. Like, why not? That's wonderful. I'm happy. And now the tree huggers or the Melissa hater. Oh, Kim's a tree. No, I say in the moment what I heard and what I think is lovely. I think it's lovely. And I'm sure David thinks so too. I, I, I mean, I, I really do. It's like, look, this is what she wanted. I mean, and you could picture she's making the sauce for everyone. I yes. Mean, listen, yes. Here's the difference. I've said this before where Melissa is there with her finstas. And she is paying the people and she's responding to every comment. And Teresa, I mean, I don't care what. Now, Louis is, Louis is in, Louis is in the social, but Teresa don't know. You could say all this about, she don't know. She's not reading one comment. She's not, now that is winning when you're living rent. The other one, I mean, she is, Melissa is up at, at 4 a.m., responding, reading. She's on Reddit. <laughs> She's on, she sees and hears every word that we say, you yeah. know? And like, so Teresa, when she says, I'm not, I don't know. So, I mean, for her, it's to Bravo. Bravo should be thrilled that, like you said, the reunion was filmed three, four months ago. April her, 20th, my birthday, for, April right, 20th. For, so for us, it's new, it's new. But for Teresa, she hasn't seen these people in like two months. It's she's softening, guys. So like, yes. listen, they might come That's what her. I'm saying. That's why I'm saying it's, let me explain something to you. When I did the show with Teresa, they were all mad at her, okay? Caroline Manzo was on the show, Jacqueline, Kathy, they were all mad at her. No one was filming with her, okay? And, but it still worked. It still worked. This, they can, listen, they can still come back. I hope you get a dinner and I know you could afford your own dinner. I, I don't think Carbon. Marge, I think Marge is going to be the consolation of like. It could be. Ho it Teresa could be. is on the ledge. Mind you, take your two fucking $2.2 million or leave it. When she's on the ledge, I think they're going to say, 